Hey everybody, it's Tanya Henthorne, and I just wanted to share a little bit today with you about memories. Uh, I don't know about you, but I love to look through old memories. I have a box upstairs that even has a little piece of my first car. When I was 16, I bought my first car. I was really proud of it, and so I kept a little piece of it when uh, it got all rusty and the door slammed and a piece fell out, and I've kept it over the years. And I love Facebook memories. I, sometimes if it's getting close to, to midnight, uh, I'll stay up just a little bit longer so that I can see the next day's memories pop up from years past. And uh, we, we look f through old photos to see how our kids have grown. We look through old photos of our marriage and our family to see how we've grown in our marriage and where we've come from. And I know that I'm not the same person that I was when I first uh, began a relationship with Jesus. And looking back at my relationship with God can help me to see how much God has provided for me and been there for me through the years. Uh, the tough times that he's brought me through, the, t the times that he's been faithful when, when times seemed uncertain. And I think it's really important that we take time to look back at what we've been through and where we've come from. Psalm chapter 77 verse 11 says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. How do you keep those memories, the memories of God's faithfulness? Uh, sometimes I keep a prayer journal or a personal journal. Um, to, to be able to look back. Uh, I also practice uh, commun taking communion uh, as a, a practice that we do that helps us to remember Jesus and what he's done for us and what he's brought us from. And I think it's very important for us to reflect back on what God has done for us and how he's been faithful on a regular basis. Psalm chapter 111 verse 2 through 4 says, Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in him, full of splendor and majesty in his work and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. So I hope you're encouraged this week just to take some time to slow down, to think about what God has done for you and what he's brought you through and those special memories. And uh, I just hope that you take some time to write them down so that in the years to come, you can reflect on where you're at right now and what God's going to bring you through. And uh, I hope you have a great week.